this series of videos, we are focusing on how to make sure that our Word document is accessible for all students, and we're going to be looking at links and hyperlinks. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to create a meaningful text for the link that you're going to create for your students. So, I want my students to go to Morgan Community College Hub, so I'm going to do Morgan Community College Hub. So this is my meaningful text. This is what is going to appear to the students. I'm going to select this text and I'm going to go down here to hyperlink. This will allow me to add the URL or the web address to the website I want the students to visit. You have a lot of different options, a lot of things that you can link to this text. You could link your email if you wanted to. You could also go to a certain place in the document if you wanted the students to go back and read something. I want this text to be a website, so I'm going to copy the web address in here for the address. I'm going to hit OK, and now you can see that our text is now underlined and blue to indicate that it is a URL or a hyperlink. Again, if a student has a screen reader, this will also indicate to the program that this is a link. And the students will know exactly where they are going because we have made this hyperlink meaningful text. We don't want to have indescriptive or vague terms like click here because then the students aren't exactly sure where they're going to be going. They either need to read back in the sentence or just click and find out. And we don't want to do that. We want to make it easy to understand. So now if the students click on this by hitting control and then clicking it will open up a web browser and take them to the website. Something else you want to do is after you've created your text that has the hyperlink embedded we are also going to add in parentheses the web address in case we have a student that prints this out they can also see where they need to go so we're going to copy it in here in parentheses you can take off the HTTP leave the www so now any student that prints it knows exactly where they're going and there is no confusion so that is how you can add a link and a hyperlink to your word document